Thank you for joining. I'm going to uh, show a PowerPoint um, presentation on the company and the overview. Um, so fiber materials, um, we design, develop, and manufacture composite materials and components for um, the most demanding applications in the most extreme environments. Um, we have been around for 50 years. This is our 51st year, actually. Um, and we work with a lot of government contracts, um, DOD and NASA, um, a lot of aerospace customers um, as well. Um, our core, so um, engineered uh, fiber reinforced composites materials designed for customer applications, specific products with performance exceeding conventional laminate composites. Um, so I'm not gonna read everything, but you can kind of see um, kind of what we do here. Um, or the next one. Um, so this is a little overview of uh, who we are, where we are. Um, we were established in 1969 uh, to fabricate carbon-carbon composites. Uh, we are now a division of uh, Spiro Aero Systems, um, which is based out of Wichita, Kansas. Uh, we were a private entity and now we are public. Uh, we were just bought out earlier this year and we're super excited and it's, a, it's been a great adventure so far. Um, and we're looking forward to continue to collaborate with Spirit. Um, so right now we are a subsidiary of them. Uh, we are located in Biddeford, Maine. We do have two sites. Uh, we have a main site on Warren Street and we have another location on Hill Street. Um, Hill Street's more of our secured location. Um, it's where we keep a lot of more of our government um, contracts. Um, but we are now over 230 employees. When I first started in 2018, um, we were around 170-ish, 160. So we are growing um, tremendously and at a fast pace. And we're, we're really excited to be able to offer um, a lot of employment to Maine and uh, bring people into Maine as well. Um, so um, some of the operation units we do have is, so we have the core FMI, which is engineering fabrication and corporate entity of it. Uh, Intermat, like I said, is more of our security facility. And then we also have an EMTL, which is our thermal and mechanical test um, engineering as, um, assessment, um, which is a really cool lab. So these are our primary applications, uh, missile and space vehicle uh, propulsion components, atmospheric entry vehicle, thermal protection systems, and structural components. Um, some of our core systems, material systems, um, we use carbon-carbon composites, ceramic matrix composites, polymer matrix composites, lightweight composites, um, and high temperature insulation and bonding products as well. So why do customers rely on FMI? Um, the legacy of high performance quality and on-time components. Um, experience in government programs and contract management um, and engineered product fiber preform. Um, we, um, as Preston can, can account for, uh, we try to get all of our components and everything out on time for the customer and um, the quality um, is really what we focus on. Um, but safety is also our number one. So while doing that, some other things are design, development, prototypes, volume production. So we actually design the components for the customers here. Um, it starts with an idea, a design, and then we engineer it and manufacture it. So from beginning to end, um, and it's a really cool process to see as well, especially from my standpoint where I'm not really technically sound, but I learn. <laughs> This is really cool. We have, we built the heat shield for the Mars rover um, and we are building another one for the next mission. Uh, we actually have the most litter on Mars, which is kind of cool to say, but litter is not good, but it's still kind of cool. Um, so we are still designing the, in, in creating the heat shield for the, Mar the next Mars rover mission, which is 2024? Uh, Mars 2020 will be launching in August and we have a heat shield that will be launching with it, uh, which is pretty cool because it was finished um, about a year ago now and just kind of out of this world and it'll truly be out of this world. So these are just some of the programs that we are involved with and some of the things that we do. Um, the NASA Orion launch um, abort system, we actually just tested out, was it this year? Um, yep. It was this year. 
um, and it was successful. So that's, you know, it was really cool to see that, you know, things that we've done can really save lives um, going up in the air. And if there was an issue, um, they can now abort the mission and land safely instead of having another situation of 1985. These are just some more programs. Uh, what we do for the Department of Defense, we do system upgrades to the Trident SM3 um, and GBS, uh, GBSD, um, enhance the new um, interceptor kill vehicles as well. Um, some of our key customers are Aerojet, Rocketdyne, Northrope. The other things we do for um, the Department of Defense and NASA, we do thermal protection systems. Um, like I said, Mars 2020 heat shield, and then the Trident nose tip missiles um, and the ground-based strategic defense nose tips as well. Um, a lot of our customers are the US Navy, uh, Lockheed Martin, NASA, Boeing. More on thermal protection systems. Um, we are into the hypersonic defense technology at the moment, which is really cool. Um, and then atmospheric entry, um, like the heat shield. So the energy material test lab, the EMTL, we actually don't have any positions in this um, particular um, lab at the moment. We actually just filled it. Um, but you can see that these are some of the things that we do there. I'm not gonna read them off to you, but um, you can kind of see what, we, what they do. Um, it's actually a really cool uh, lab to kind of walk through and, and tour and and talk to um, the, the employees that work there. These are some of FMI's innovation aligned with needs. Um, some of the drivers, some of the programs, um, and some of the projects that we're working on at the moment. Um, we have a lot more projects that we're getting in. That's why we are hiring a tremendous amount of engineers at the moment. Um, we are hiring a lot of production right now. Um, we are getting a lot more contracts. I feel like COVID has pushed us to um, work, you know, with a lot more work instead of going the opposite way, which is a good thing. Um, but um, we are we are growing tremendously, and we are looking for um, great talent and um, you know people that want to grow with us and and make make our make these make this happen really so i just want to point out uh something that bethany kind of hinted towards was right now across the world it's been uh, COVID has really struck hard um, one thing that fmi has done through that um, is continue to grow and that's hard for most companies to do is uh, continue to grow continue to hire um, and making sure that those in our community are taken care of that's one big thing about FMI that sets us sets us apart other than the cool stuff we do. We really appreciate you all being here. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for thank having you. us. It was great. Thank you.